Hi, it's Zach from MightyMy.com, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record keystrokes in Visual Basic. So before we get started, I'd like to say don't use this tutorial for making programs like keyloggers or whatever else, and two, you're going to have to build this before you run it. So don't try to debug it, make sure you build it and go to that. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go to File, and then hit New Project, Windows Forms Application, and then give it a name. I'm going to name mine Keystrokes. There we go. Go ahead and cl click OK after you get that done. So now that our blank project is loaded up here, let's go to our toolbox and then get a text box and put it onto our form. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and make mine multi line so I can fill up the whole form here. Whoops. And there we go. And there we go. All right. So now that you get your text box into the form, we're going to go to the code. So let's go ahead and double click our form to get to the code. So now that we're at the code, we need to get rid of everything here, including the public class form one. So there we go. It's all blank now. So now that we're at this point, we need to go to the description of the video. It's going to have a link to my website. It's going to say whitemycom slash whatever else. So go ahead and click that link now. Okay, so now we're at the website. It's going to say vb.net, how to record keystrokes in Visual Basic. You're going to see all this. Go ahead and scroll down until you get to instructions. Now that we're at the instructions, we need to go to step two. So here we are at step two. Go ahead and copy and paste everything in this gray area right here. So scroll down till we get to end class. Go ahead and copy that. Go back to Visual Basic and then paste it into your code. So there we go. So I'm going to show you guys what happens if you try to debug it as it is. So go to debug and then start debugging. As you can see, it loads up your form, but let me open up a tech or a notepad real quick. If I type in ABC, nothing comes up here. It should be doing that. So let's go ahead and close out of notepad real quick and close this. We're going to have to build our project before it works. So let's go to file, save it, and save it as keystrokes and save. There we go. Okay, now we're going to build it. So let's go to debug and then build keystrokes. So I'm so now we need to go to that folder that we saved it at. So mine is in documents and then right there keystrokes. Go to keystrokes again. Go to bin and then go to release. And there we go. That's what we just built. So go ahead and double click that. Now watch what happens when I type in ABC again. See it records it now. So you gotta make sure that you build your project before anything else. You can't debug it. It's not gonna work like that. So if this video helped you, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the rent tutorial because that's going to have all the code there. And make sure you build your project because if you get an error or it's not working, it's, because, it's probably because you're debugging it and not building it. Thanks for watching.